All right, well, uh, let's give it a shot. Yes, yeah, same. Yo, it's Tail. Get away from Skull Kid. You're gonna get hit. I know this, because time travel. Yeah, I know. Swamp, mountain, ocean, canyon, whatever. I don't... Listen. That's rude. I've had enough. You hit my brother over and over. I'll never forget to tattle. It happened once. Settle down. Even if they were to come now, they won't be able to handle me. Just look above you. Blah, 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 blah. Alright. This time, I'm more prepared than I was before. I have a bow. It doesn't do anything. Well, I, I tried. <laughs> uh, but I do have a song. There it is. <laughs> I got it. I got it, guys. It's fine. Yeah, that's right. I got your number now, Skull Kid. I got a friend. I hate friendship. This, uh, this could probably be better. Things aren't so great around now. Oh. From the bubble bath, a friend arrives. Starting to get this feeling. Maybe one isn't enough. But, uh, I've got faith. I'm sure he can handle it. Should probably be a little bit more centered, honestly, but uh, you do you, I guess. Come on, dude. I believe in you. That's no good. It's hopeless. Oh. Well, uh. Oops. Well, that didn't work. Looks like there's more to do. Ha! 
I am Game Guide. It's time for more Let's Play Majora's Mask. The quickest way to the mountains is through the North Gate. Shut up, you. I got things to do. This is side quest o'clock. That's for sure. So, first things first. Uh, the beginning of every cycle, it is probably in your best interest to go grab that chest. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. This is probably the last time I'm gonna really show doing this, because, uh, you know, it's not overly exciting. You know, this is running around, jumping on some targets, making your way around the world, getting some money. It's all a good day, but in the end, I mean, it's the same thing over and over, so we're not too concerned about that. It's all right. Okay. So that's a hundred monies. Uh, while I am in the business of getting monies, uh, there's a bunch of other stuff I can do now. For one thing, I want to go back over here. Do I remember the password? I might have to open up a file that I may have saved. Yo, it's a password. I remembered it started with a five, but I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember the rest of it. I had to look this up here. Uh, here and now. That, that's not a five. I, listen, I didn't mean to put the five, you stupid child. Why are you a stupid, stupid duped? Why are you a stupid duped? I don't understand. All right, well, the password will not change. It is unique to your save file, so it will always be the same. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go and get the moons tier now, actually. So, BRB. Heck was that? All right, so to get the moons tier, again, you need to go and look through the telescope. That's a thing that you gotta do. Back to Clock Town. Take off the Deku mask, cause uh, you want to be human. That's a thing you want. Uh, if you input the password, and then come out of the, the sewers as a human child, the bomber guy will be like, Whoa, how did you know that? You're pretty good. You managed to figure out the code somehow. What's your name, guy? Add a G to what I just said? Okay. Making G guy a new member of the bombers instead. This is the bomber's notebook. So this is kind of a thing in this particular video game. You can check your bomber's notebook and find a bunch of people to keep track of. The bombers are included in this for some reason, but you know what? It's all right. So there's 20 people in the world that we can help using our abilities of the time travel. Um, so yeah, yeah, bombers are just the first one. Um, it's kind of hard to explain how this works when there's nothing, but we'll get into that when we get into that. Uh, but you do want to go ahead and grab that. It's not actually 100% required, but it helps. The alternative way to get that is you can just play hide and seek again. Um, but I don't want to do that. I don't really have a plan for today, not gonna lie. So I'm just gonna kind of do things. Hello. Welcome to Stockpot Inn. Am I staying the night? I don't know, sure, why not? Uh, oh, there are no vacancies. Well, thought I'd try. Anju was added to the notebook. It's okay. Yeah, you can just talk to people and they'll be added to the notebook. Uh, it's just kind of a handy thing. If you want to go ahead and just talk to people. Hello. Yes, I did. Who's Tortoise? What story do you want to hear? Uh, I don't want to hear that, but you can add Anju's grandmother. Uh, if you listen to her stories, she will actually um, tell you a story that takes two hours or until dawn. Uh, so it's kind of a thing. Uh, let's see. If you want to be super cool, you can play your ocarina on accident and then talk to Anju again on accident. I, I wanna... No, I wanna do a backflip over the counter and be super cool, but I didn't, and now I'm sad. I'm the most sad that I could possibly be. Employees only. That's lame. Hello, lady. Oh, work, it's too basic. The Rosa sisters are in my notebook. 
Uh, well, I'm not sneaking into the room. I was just blatantly trying to open the door and it wasn't working. Hello? Do do do! Don't speak to her right now. She hasn't finished her new dance! Even though the song is finished. Ah, it's Guru Guru. He's a guy who plays a song. Do you want to speak to me? Uh, Judo's very good at it. Maybe we should add some spins! I don't know, maybe. There's just a bunch of people hanging out in here. That's pretty cool. Contemplating the world as you do. Uh, there is that other door that's up there that just leads to the top part. I'm not super interested in the top part. Uh, there's various places I can go still. Did I hear what I thought I heard? I think I heard something. Did I hear the noise of the noise of the noise? I did. Postman is running that way. Postman's cool, but I'll have to talk to him later. Because <laughs> he's running away, mostly. Uh, what is this building, I wonder? Ah, the mayor's residence. Hello? Do you have some business? The room on the left is the mayor's room. It sounds like they're having a meeting. That's fun. I should just go say hello. Madame Aroma? Well, you enticed me into going here. Uh-oh, the music got dramatic. What's what's happening here? Huh? Most of the townsfolk have already taken shelter without waiting for the mayor's orders. The ones left are public servants and committee members. And the carnival committee members, please order those who remain to evacuate. You cowards! Do you actually believe the moon will fall? You know, I can chime in right here and uh, settle this dispute, but I'm a child and no one will listen to me, so... Uh, confused townsfolk simply caused a panic, believing this ridiculous, groundless theory. Uh, the soldiers couldn't prevent the panic, but outside the town walls is where the danger is. I mean, you're not wrong. The answer is that the carnival should not be canceled. Isn't that right, Mr. Mayor? Um. Ah, uh, are you serious, Muto? Uh, it seems a giant chunk of rock above us hasn't caught your eye. That would be gross if it managed to do as such. He might need his eyes. So why is the town empty? Probably because of N64 limit. I mean, what? Uh, don't drag the merchants and soldiers into this. Mm -hmm. The soldiers wish to run and run, Vissen. Vis, Visken, Vissen. I'm not sure on pronunciation there, but uh, you know what? It's okay. Carnival will be a success. Uh, Madame Aroma would surely say the same thing, wouldn't she, Mayor? Let's not bring my wife into this. Well, this guy seems to be having a fun time, and the, uh, the town is in tatters. But, it's a video game, so who cares? <laughs> That's what I feel like. Oh, hello. Madame Rorma, I am Gorman. It has been some time. Thank you for letting us perform. Oh, Gorman, there's a problem. Meaning? The opening performance I've asked you to do... Uh, they've canceled! Just now! Exactly as this child entered the room and eavesdropped on our conversation. What? Allow me to explain. Uh, excuse me, I am, uh, to work at this year's show, or that was the plan. I'm Toto, manager of the Zora Band, the Indigo goes. There's an extra go I forgot about for some reason. He arrived this morning. Actually, there's been an unusual incident in Great Bay. Uh, due to this unusual incident, I know it's accident, but incidents works. Lulu, the diva of the Indiegogos, has lost her voice. Why? Video game plot reasons. Uh, the details are quite long, as I just said. <clears throat> at any rate, I must cancel our performance at this year's Carnival of Time. See? This means Gorman Troop's j job is... It's off. But, but that's... 
It's all Gorman. There's always next year, assuming, you know, catastrophic apocalypse doesn't happen, which is obviously not gonna. I just kind of threw that out there into the into the world, into the ether for no reason. Boy, I'm on this point for a while. Anyway, I'm busy with other matters. Well, Gorman is on the thing now. Hooray! Toto's on the thing also, and so is Madame Aroma. There's a lot of problems happening in this world. It's kind of a great time, all things considered. All right, there's this bed here. There's beds everywhere. Look at all the beds. I can go into this secret room where there's further beds. Cafe's uh, diary. Wedding ceremony is soon. It might be early, but I've finished my wedding mask. I wonder if Anju has made hers. She tends to do things at the last minute, so probably not. There's a gathering of the fellows at the milk bar tonight. I plan to show off my wedding mask and talk about my sweetheart as best I can. Oh, well, that's, that's kind of nice, whoever this cafe guy is. It's pretty nice. So yeah, now that I've gotten a bunch of dudes in the thing, I can kind of more show this off in earnest. Uh, you'll see that each person kind of has little blocks to indicate when you should do stuff at specific times of day. Um, typically, you want to try to see if you can figure out what to do during these time chunks. Like, right now, I'm apparently supposed to do something with the mayor and Madame Aroma. Um, I'm not sure why I'm unable to do the thing with Madame Aroma, because it should have just... Well, yeah, it's probably because Gorman's still here. Okay, good, he left. Get out of here, guy! All right. Oh, dear, you are in a field trip, or are you the expert person finder I hired? That's me, the guy you said. I also eavesdropped on your conversation. That sounded, uh, things. Characteristics of the person I want you to find. Yes, I know them. The person I want you to locate is my son, Cafe. Oh, hey, I just read his diary. Seems like a pretty cool dude. Uh, you know him. I don't? Nope, I don't know him. He disappeared about a month ago. Oh, that's... That's, uh, unfortunate, it turns out. I can't get food down my throat. I've lost five pounds! Uh, you haven't anything, though. Oh, dear. I mean, I guess I can look for him. He seems like a cool guy. Alright, well, uh, the only way to search for a missing person is to get a mask of their face. <laughs> Wear this and you can inquire about the missing cafe. Oh, you took the word of a pro work of a pro. I sure did. You got anything to say? My fins aren't damp because I don't have any, so, you know. Yes, thank you for your cultural influence. That's nice. Ah, but forgive me, I'm Toto. Uh, I'm out of business cards. Oh man, I wanted a business card for my inventory. The Indigos are a popular group that we Zora are so proud of. They put out a lot of songs. One of their hits is Ballad of the Windfish. I find that hard to believe, but okay. Hmm, you don't, really? Even one that famous? Hmm. Uh, you'd be able to hear it if the show wasn't canceled. It's such a shame. I'm sorry, but that song doesn't exist on this timeline, so, uh... Oh, Gorman's leaving. Hello, do you, do you speak to me? He's angry now. You must be joking. What am I to do? I don't know, man. I'm just gonna beat you to the door. Ha! Joke's on you! He's already out. All right, well, that was uh, East Clock Town. I'm wondering if maybe I can do other things. This is just the episode where I wander around and, like, finally show off the town, because admittedly, I haven't done that yet. Also, the whole point of me getting the moons here uh, is probably important. I want to get this uh, land title deed for a few reasons here. Hello there, guy. Welcome to Flower Town. This is your private property. Is it now? I seem to recall... These guys have different dialogue and such if you are a Deku scrub. You sold out of your wares. I'm thinking of... Oh, do you not have a different shop? Or different thing? Maybe... Well, no, because I usually did this as a Deku in the, the first cycle. So I think the different dialogue tree would be that of human. Sir! I keep hearing about a stone! I do have one! It's a very popular spot amongst Deku Scrubs! 
It's a real bargain. I mean, you know, sure, I'll go ahead and take it. Wowie zowie! I'll give you my spot here. Thanks, guy. Alright. That's a title deed for me. And he's gonna go ahead and fly away now. Flying away is the way of the world. Yeah. Alright, well, now that guy's flying away. Uh, I think I want to finish up looking around town by heading over to, uh, the west side. Cause, uh, we haven't seen what's over here yet, really, either, so... Curiosity Shop, open at 10 p.m. Well, that's gonna be fun. We'll do that later. This is just a regular shop, and, uh, I don't think I really need to buy anything here, so I won't. <laughs> The shop really doesn't sell that much exciting things, but this shop might. Alright. Hello, guy. Welcome! Uh, you can buy some bombs. You can even buy a bomb bag. Um... Yeah, you know what? I'll go ahead and buy the bomb bag. Why not? You just buy a bomb bag in this game. You don't have to go into a cavern to get it. It's fine. You can also buy bomb chews. You can also buy another bomb bag. I'm not sure why you can buy another bomb bag. Come again. I mean, if you say so. There's a Goron hanging out over here. Well, hello. Did you buy it? Want to buy a powder keg? This is between us, but yeah, I have a huge bomb that the shop doesn't carry. My product is so heavy, I don't think you can carry it. I'm sorry I even brought it up. All right, well, good to know, I guess. Master of Explosives over here exists. All right, you know what? I should probably go into this house building because this is kind of a, a free thing. Hello, guy. Yeah, this is the training center. It's friendly and 24 hour one-on-one -on -one training. Uh, from now until the end of the carnival, join at a special discount. Yeah, uh, you know what? Fine, I could do the novice course, but expert course is where it's at. Cut down 10 logs using highly difficult techniques. If you score a perfect 30 points, you will get all of the secrets. So the highly difficult technique, turns out, is a, the jump attack. Uh, I'm gonna just absolutely mess up here. Why am I not... Why am I... Why, why is it rolling? What? Hold on, I'm having, I'm having a moment here. What is happening? Why? What? What is? Why am I having some trouble here? Thank you. Finally, I got a jump strike. Why was that hard? What is happening? <laughs> I don't understand. Okay, so this is what you got to do, but you got to do it like not terribly. Yes, I'd like to start over from the beginning. Uh, thanks. Now that I've uh, done the novice course on accident, I don't want to do the novice course. This is stupid! Dang it, I, I have to pull my sword out first. I may as well just restart. Yeah, see, like, this isn't even hard. I, I don't know why I had problems that first run, and then the second run I just forgot to pull out the sword first. You, you gotta make sure you do that. There's a hard piece here, by the way. <laughs> well, now that I've wasted a bunch of money, uh, can I go in the postman building place? Is he even in here? He sure is! Four, five, six! Yeah. Oh, you startled me! Uh, do not disrupt my training! In my mind, I am running for exactly 10 seconds without looking at a clock. I was in the middle of my mental training. Uh, you may make fun of me, but this is quite difficult. Will you try it? 
All right, sure. Press A to start and count to 10 seconds uh, with the price precisely on the dot. Mr. Watch, this is what you were made for. Right here, right now. I'm waiting for a certain time frame. Wow, I was early. I, I don't know why I hit the button so early, to be honest, but uh, I'll let you try again, but it'll cost two rupees. I mean, sure. Press A to start. Yeah, this is, this is Trixie, man. It's the very thought of Trixie. As I recall, there is a bit of leeway on this, actually. It's just kind of a thing. No, it was pretty close, though. No, it was a close one. I'm just talking to myself. You look like you want to try again. I, there is a point to doing this for the record. Just putting it out there. Ten, twelve. Lame. There is kind of an easier way to do this. It's really not that much easier if you have like a watch or something, but you know, it's just a thing that exists, I guess. That felt early, yeah. I'd like to do this if I can. This is just weird minigame marathon going on over here. There we go, I am the best. Yeah, that was amazing. You have, yeah, reflexes, suitable of a postman. That's me. Yeah, give me that heart piece. Thanks, guy. I can't be like this, I have to train more. I showed my wild instincts. Postman is weird, I'm not gonna lie, because I came in here before, if you remember, and he's just kind of laying around. Where is he on this thing? I don't remember exactly when I came in here, but like, there's points in time where he's in here, but doesn't do the timing minigame, and I don't know what triggers it. Because I've done nothing to interact with the postman at all today, so... Weird little oddity, I have to say. Then there's also this building over here. This is the lottery shop. Would you like a chance to buy your dreams? Oh, I happen to have money anyway, so uh, why not? Sure, I'll buy. What numbers do I pick? How many numbers do I get? Oh, okay, you know what? I think we know what number I'm gonna pick. It's, it's fine. We'll announce the selected numbers here. We'll do it tonight at six o'clock to 11 o'clock. Your lottery ticket is only good through tonight. Whoa. What time is it? It's got to be close to- oh, it is kind of close to it. Oh. Alright. I bought the last ticket, I guess. We'll have to come back to that. The lottery shop has really nothing for you. I never bother with it, but you know what? Let's bother with it this time. Uh, I think that's all I can really do in town right now. Time's about to shift over, so, uh, you know. I guess next time, we'll keep on exploring town and maybe do more stuff of importance. That might be fun. Yeah. Time's about to shift, doggy dog. It's about to shift, doggy dog. Doggy dog, watch out! Time's about to shift! I thought I'd be doing that zoom in thing, but it doesn't seem to be. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> 